today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with the Felix One palette and we are playing with the Certify. I am playing with the Certify Tropical Wonders. You've voted for this one um, and when I'm recording this, this was the winner. So I'm going to do this today and the palette looks like this. I have done first impression on this and I also used some of the shades together with other palettes. I haven't used all the shades but I have used some of them. So I think I know what I want to do. I try to plan my free looks when I start because I want to do three different looks. I don't know if it will be three different looks today. Maybe, maybe not. In my first impression I did like a rainbow eye, a two two different eyes, like a rainbow eye, and I don't want to do something like that at all. And maybe it will be like that, I don't know. So I will just start with the first look and I will zoom you guys in a little bit and then we just start with makeup. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do. I am not sure yet, but I I think I know, or do I? Yes, I will start with hibiscus, this pink one, and put it in my outer crease, and this is the one brush. So I take one of these, and it is clean, even though it doesn't look clean. So I'll take this in my outer crease. And I'm sorry if you hear a lot of sounds from the world outside, but it's like a summer today outside. And it like it is a park and a playground outside our window and it's kids it's screaming kids in the playground. So I'm sorry if you can hear them, but I can't like, I was like standing in, standing in the window like an angry old lady drinking my Pepsi in a wine glass and just like, and then I closed the window a little bit. And yeah, I will of course leave timestamps down below if you don't want to watch all the looks, but now we have to watch the first one. A little bit of that. I'm sorry for that. I always do that in my free looks. So yeah. I'm a little bit disorientated today, maybe. Okay, so I will take Fruit Dove with this one and put it in my inner corner, my inner crease. And when I used this in my first impression, I didn't think it was so different from one of the other shades, but on its own, it is good. So I think something like this. And then I will take... Okay, this was such a hard thing to decide on. I will take Firefish. Put it where I have the hibiscus. Maybe a little where I have the fruit dove as well. And I think this one is a really... I don't really know. This is a purple, but it is a pink, but it is a purple. I don't really know what this is for kind of shade. But I really like it. Okay, and then I want to poop... poop. <laughs> I want to put the Bermuda shade in my inner corner. I want to poop the Bermuda in my inner corner. And I really hope that this doesn't get too muddy here. Maybe it just turns a little purple and I am okay with that. 
And I actually want to do something more. I want to take this honey creeper and deepen this outer V down a little bit. If it is possible. These are pretty similar, the honey creeper and the firefish, as you can see. They're pretty similar. The firefish is more purple and this one has a little bit of a red undertone. So maybe it don't show up because they are so alike. If you really pack the brush. I don't know if there is any difference. Maybe just a slight, so I think I have to do it on the other eye as well. Okay, so I think I am satisfied with the lids. So I'm going to take away all these fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then we'll be back and we don't do something to the under eyes. Okay, so <laughs> my base and brows are on. And for my under eyes, I think I will take um, hibiscus and bermuda, but I will take the pink one in here and then the green one out here. I think, yes, so I will start with Bermuda and put it on the outer half of my lash line, lower lash. I think I'm to there. And then I will of the color and take the pink one on the same brush but in here so something like that I think this is a little bit more fun than just take do the same as I did on my lid. So, like that. And I will put on mascara, some lipstick. I don't really know what I want to do for this look. And also something in my waterline. And I think I will take something completely different in my waterline. I think maybe yellow or orange. I think I will go with the yellow. So I will fix that and then I'll come back and we have the first look. So this is the first look with the Tropical Wonders from Certify. In my waterline I used Happy Mood from Linda Holberg. It's the yellow one. And for my lips I used this little mini. It's NYX Lip Lingerie in Exotic. I don't really like these formulas but... So this is my first look with the Tropical Wonders, as I just said, and if you want to see the two more looks I will do with this palette, so just keep on watching. And for this look I used, okay now we'll see, I used Hibiscus, Firefish, Honey Creeper, Bermuda and Fruit Dump. So just hop into the next one. So, it's time for look number two and I just realized I changed my ring in my nose to a gold one and this is silver. Maybe I should just take this off. And I think there is a ladybug in here. I think it's called that. I think I have to help it out. So, I'm just going to help it out and then I'll be back. So, it's time for look number two with the Tropical Wonders. And I think I know what I want to do. And I'm sorry if you can hear a cat eating, but as you all know, it's Elsa that loves to disturb me when I'm filming. And this look, I want to do something a little bit more natural with this palette. Yes, maybe that's boring, but I just want to show that you can do more... Okay, this is not going to be natural, but not so colorful. So, I we'll start with dusk and take it on a big fluffy brush and put it in my crease and I think that this color is 
I really love this color. And I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's almost... It's a little bit stormy outside today. Okay, and I think I also will go in with shrimp um, in my crease as well. Just a little. But I want to take it my whole crease. This is also such a nice color. And it feels like when you have a palette that looks like this, like these two colors, it feels like people are... Mm. I want to use the colorful. And for my lid, I want to do this in the wrong way. So I will start in my inner corner and I will take the con. I don't know why I keep using this color because I don't know how to say this. And put this in my inner corner. And then I will go in with Typhoon, this grey one, and put it on the rest of my lid. And I don't know if you know this, but I think grey is like the most boring color on an eyeshadow. I don't know what fun things you can do with a grey. Because it's grey. And then I think I will go back in with shrimp and put it just in the crease again. And then I will actually take this. Bonobo, 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 bonobo. The black one. Just to, you know what? <laughs> to even down the outer crease. The outer crease, the outer corner. And I don't know how this black is. I want my black shadows to be black, but I don't want them to be pitch black from the beginning because then it feels like you can mess up the look pretty bad. I just try to smudge it out with it, smudge it into the grey. I think so. Okay, it's a little bit hard to see because I have so much black here. I think I actually like this. I will take the brush that I took shrimp in my crease just to a no color on it. Just to soften this a little. Something like that. Okay, it feels like I messed this eye up a little bit. I think I just have to live with that. So I will fix my face, my brows. First take away the fallout, fix my brace brace. Fix my brace, my face and my brows, and then I will be back and we do something to the lower lash. And yes, so I fix that and then I come back and we finished up this look. So I am back and time for the lower lash. And I think I just will go in with these two, Dusk and Shrimp. So I will start with Dusk on a bigger brush. And try to and try to just have it here. So and then take a smaller brush and take shrimp and put it closest to my lash line. Like that and I actually think I will go in a little bit with the black one, just tiny, 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 just out here, so it isn't like black and then something else. Okay, and then I am finished with the eyeshadow and I'm going to put on mascara and something in my watch line and I don't really know. First I was like an orange, but that feels a little boring maybe. 
So maybe yellow? Or did I have yellow lost? Look before this? I think I had. So I think I yeah. I think I will go with an orange, put on some mascara and a lipstick, and then I will be back with a finished second look. So this is the finished second look, and I of course took a red one, and this is Hanging Rock from Nabla. I love this. So this is the finished look, and I really like this. I really do, and I just wanted to do something not so colorful with a super colorful palette. So this is the second look and if you want to see the third look just keep on watching. So it's time for look number three with the palette and I just washed off the second look and I was like in such a filming mode so I was like I want to do the third look now as well. So I maybe am a little bit dark around my eyes. Just so you know. So I this was like the first look with this palette that I fought out, <laughs> so I'm going to start with Firefish. Put this in my crease. And I know that I haven't tried out all the shades in this palette, in this free looks one palette but sometimes I just want to do what I want to not to like think how I can use as most of the colors there is and I also in my first impression I used quite a lot of the shadows so I think I have a pretty good idea how I think how these shadows are performing. And I want to do a halo eye for this look and these colors that I'm planning to use I have wanted to mix these two colors for such a long time but it's never happened and then I think it was Betty Jean that put up a video where she mixed these two colors and I was like I need to do that soon because I really love it Gosh, I look so dark on my eyes. I'm sorry for that. So I will go in with Starling, this dark purple one. I don't know if I have used this before. I don't think so. And I don't know if I need to cut this to make this halo eye so I will I will try first not to cut it and then we will see if I have to and then I do it and this was such a good purple so, for the halo, I want to take the yellow one, Sunray. And I think that yellow and purple look amazing together. And also purple and gold as well. We will see if I can make this pop. And here is a halo and yes only thing I am a little bit worried about now when I haven't cut this is that it's going to be blurry like up here and also where these two meet so I want to be really careful and really get it yellow here in the middle and then try to smudge it a little I think it's working actually. I, I don't know how to hold my brush. And then I will go in with the brush I had for the purple one. No new product, but just something like that. And 
I like this. This yellow is good, but I haven't found a yellow yet that is that vibrant as I wanted to. I don't know if there even is any yellow out there that is the yellow I want to, but this is really good. Okay, I think I am pretty satisfied with this, actually. It is not as vibrant as I wanted it to be, this yellow. I think it looks actually more vibrant for you than it does for me. So I will take away the fallout. I have a crazy amount of fallout. Put on a base and brows and then I will be back and we'll fix the under eyes, pick a lipstick and then my review part of this palette is coming. So okay. I don't know if I am in focus. I think so. So for my lower lash I will just go in with Starling. Put it on my whole lower lash. Tap this off so I don't get any fallouts. like that and for my waterline I will take a yellow pen from Linda Halberg and I will put on some mascara I don't know where I put it right now but I will put on some mascara a lipstick I think I will go with this one I don't really know maybe this is a little bit too pink I think I will try with this and I will come back with the finished look and then we hop into the review part so this is the last Look for this free looks one palette, and I used Wet n Wild's liquid cat suit in Rebel Rose, and I I don't know why it's called Rebel Rose because it's not so rosy. So this is the third look, and I like this as well. I don't really know which look was my favorite. I don't think this. I think the second look was my favorite. Which look did you think was the best? Comment down below. So I think we just hop into the review part and my hair, i going to cut it in I think two and a half weeks and it's going to be so nice. So just bear with me. So the Tropical Wonders from Certify. We can start out with how the palette looks. It looks amazing. I love this artwork and I love cardboard. As you know, the only thing I really don't as big fan of is that you open it like this and not like this because I think it's I'm not used to have a palette like this and not like this. It doesn't bother me that much, but it's just one thing that I really don't like about the packaging. Else I think the packaging is good. It's not too big and bulky. It's very slim. I love the layout of the colors. I think it's good to have it like this for people that are not used to colors. And this is very pleasing to look in and it's easy to see like, oh I can do a look with this, I can do a look with this and with this. So I liked it about this palette. One thing I don't like. The palette is white or the background is white and yes it's good, it makes the color pop, but these color has quite a lot of kick up and it shows on shoes it shows 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 it show up on this white background and that annoys me a little bit and I am not the kind of person that like clean my palettes but with this I really want to like this purple one is all over around here and the black one is here I don't know if you can see it so that bothers me a bit but the shadows, they are amazing. I think all of them perform good. Some better, some worse. Just like in all palettes. I think I have used the most of them with this and my first impression. I think I've used all. I don't think I've used this white one and this equator. Strange enough because I think this looks amazing. But it is a really good palette and the shadows are so easy to blend and they are easy to blend together and they are pigmented. 
This yellow one is not the best yellow I have tried, but it's not the worst. It is a good yellow. And yeah, I don't know what more to say. Then I think this is I think this is the best rainbow palette I have. And it's just it is an amazing palette. They did really really good with this and it doesn't even bother me like it's a grey in this rainbow palette. I am completely okay with that. And also these colors up here like this dusk. It is amazing. I think this is pretty similar to UV's Place Tri Palette. Okay, what is this for kind of review? Um, this Ashanti or maybe not. No, but these would go great together. They were not alike, but it's like the same, but this one is brighter. I'm just going to take away the swatches or else I will have swatches everywhere. So if you want to try Certify and you want a rainbow palette, buy the Tropical Wonders. It's an amazing palette. So I think that was all for this review. I don't know what more to say. And if you... Whatever I'm going to say... And for my next free looks one palette, I will leave a little voting card up here. I should have put it in the beginning of this video. I forgot about it. So I will put it up here so you can vote on which palette you want me to do next. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and it was so fun to play with this more. Do you want more videos on this palette or maybe this in conjunction with the Dynasty palette? Because the Dynasty have some shimmeries shimmers. Uh, this is only matte shadows. So yeah, I really hope you like this free looks one palette with the certified tropical wonders. As I said, it was so fun to play with this more. I haven't played with it enough. I really really like it. So if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!